for a lot of people, the introduction of Android P is showing them that navigation gestures are a popular alternative to the typical navigation bar down here at the bottom. So a lot of people are wanting to try out these navigation gestures on other devices. devices. But it's a rather it's a rather pointless endeavor whenever you constantly have these buttons down here at the bottom. So today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the navigation bar on the Galaxy S9 and the Galaxy S9 Plus. So to just start off the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus has a feature where they can hide the navigation bar. And we can see this with this dot here inside the navigation bar. We just want to press and hold that button for a bit. Or we just double tap it, my mistake. And then we tap OK. And it's basically going into immersive mode where the navigation bar will hide and we can bring it back by doing a swipe up. It's actually a very nice implementation of this feature except that there are times when the navigation bar is always present. For instance whenever we are at the home screen. Every time we're at the home screen the navigation bar will always be there. Another, another instance here is whenever we bring up the keyboard this is a big issue for me anytime the keyboard is up with these force immersive mode applications and features it will always bring that navigation bar up however there's actually another way that we can go into the Android firmware and modify it to where it pushes out that notification bar and that's what I want to show you how to do today it does not require root access but it does require that you have ADB and fastboot tools set up on your computer and I'm gonna I'll have step-by-step -step instructions on how to do all of that including the command that we do all in the full tutorial which will be linked below this video for those of you who are watching this directly on YouTube. So once you have ADB and Fastboot tools set up on your computer, we're going to connect our Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S9 Plus to the PC with a USB cable. And you're going to need to enable USB debugging access because we need to execute a command from the command prompt. So once you have all that set up and you have granted USB debugging access, we're actually going to open up the command prompt and we're going to do the command ADB space shell space WM space overscan and then we're going to do a space and it's going to be 0 comma 0 comma and then the fourth number. On the Galaxy S9 and Galaxy S9 Plus's default configuration that fourth number is going to be negative 125 and again I'm gonna have all of this in plain text and easy to read in the full tutorial however if you have gone in and changed the display size to make screen elements bigger or smaller then that negative 125 value may need to be adjusted either higher or lower depending on how you have pre-configured your Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S9 Plus. So to show you how this works, you can see we have the navigation bar down here at all times. It's not hidden in any way. Then we're just going to press enter on the keyboard. It's going to send that command to the Galaxy S9 and it's going to push down that navigation bar. So it doesn't matter if we have the keyboard up that navigation bar is still going to be gone. Now naturally we're going to need to have a, an alternative navigation method installed whether that is pie controls or gesture controls. There are a lot of different alternative navigation control applications in the Play Store. 
I'll be including a link to the one that I'm currently using on my Pixel 2 XL and that'll be in the full tutorial but you should also know that anytime we are in this we can also go back into the command prompt and then instead of the negative 125 value it's just going to be 0 comma 0 comma 0 and then when we press enter it's going to send that command to the Galaxy S9 and the navigation bar is going to come back basically what's happening is we're taking the bottom of the screen that is normally in, in view and we're pushing that down for the, further so the navigation bar is actually still up it's just being pushed below the visible screen and we can do this command any in any place whether we're in an, an application or we are in the home screen the navigation bar will never appear until we go back and put that 0, .0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 command in there so there you have it that is just a quick way of how to hide and disable the navigation bar on the galaxy s9 and the galaxy s9 plus